so all over Africa and the Middle East protest at the same time. Here's one in Syria. Here's Blackwater in Iraq. And they changed their name to Z. Um, here's an American spy captured in Pakistan. And again, these are pictures from the news and places like that. This is France flying over Libya. Again, you see the Mexican drug war, another Illuminati action. North Korea, see how indifferent they are in their policy. You see clashes in Egypt when Mubarak stepped down. This is the UN in uh, the Ivory Coast when Gabago caused problems with Usatra. This is Afghanistan. And again, my friends and allies said I talked too much, so I'm going to show you more proofs. This is empires from the past, the Babylonian Empire, the Mongolians, etc., to the Ottomans. This is awards the Germans gave people. And you see the symbol of the medicine that was used, adopted by America. This is the symbolism in Washington, D.C. That's Moses being portrayed with horns, which he's often portrayed with, holding the two tablets. Ancient Sumerian. Again, Sumerian, which is adopted by Babylonians eventually. Illuminati symbolism. Notice what they're holding. Symbol of medicine. The symbol, the catechist. The wicked symbol. Here's um, a drawing board from masonry being illustrated. Again, the drawing board and how it resembles ancient Egypt. People ask, always ask, what does ancient Egypt have to do with the Illuminati? Well, this is where the gods come from. Again, holding the catechist. This is the goddess Nike. What do you think Nike has to do with it? Obviously, this is the ancient mystery schools. This is Horus initiating someone into them. Rituals from the ancient Egyptians. Hathor and Pharaoh. Again, Hathor and Pharaoh. This is a Pharaoh being anointed with the Spirit of God by Thot and Horus or Heru. Again, notice the African appearance. This is the stone the builder rejected. This is Mr. Hawass, who believes the Egyptians were like him, <laughs> even though the pictures don't look like him. 4,300-year-old tomb. What color skin do you see? Now, this is um, the Romans starting to adopt the Egyptian religion. Notice Horus being portrayed in a Roman garb with slaying Sobek, because the Nile is not in Rome. Notice Akhenaten, how he's portrayed. Egyptian women. This is where the monuments are in Egypt. Notice you have uh, lighter skinned Africans in Ethiopia, darker ones in Sudan. It was like that in Egypt and Nubia. Um, this is an Egyptian, uh, Ethiopian portrayal of an angel. This is Egyptians. Notice the hair, the body type. It's obvious what they are. Again, Mr. Was looking at somebody a million shades darker than him saying these people were like me. And his his uh, colleagues don't look too happy about it. This is Menzies the first, but a lot of the Eurocentrics will claim it's a Nubian pharaoh. These are Nubians. Um, notice they have the same kind of nose, same kind of everything, same kind of garb. They're just darker skinned. This is Osiris. Notice he's very black. He's he's the god of the black, the lord of the dead. 
This is the Egyptian trinity, the father, the son, and the female, Kabadi, which is the Holy Spirit when the Christians adopt the trinity. This has been Tuatep the second. This is Ramses slaying either a Hittite or a Libyan. Either way, you can notice the difference. Akhenaten and his wife Nefertiti under the sun, the Aten, and again the empires. I end it right.